That's it. Okay, we got so much bedrock to uh, to work on here that we could probably do nothing but stay in this one spot and end up with uh, with decent gold. But as we look upstream, right, water moves down here. Arrived at this absolute perpendicular face of bedrock and right below it I started digging down into these little crevices and breaking out just little pieces of this very frangible bedrock. I mean you can just about break it with your fingers. Uh, I was prying most of it out just with the tip of my uh, serving spoon. Anyway so I cleaned that whole area out found another drop right here and I'm going to have to come around to get a better view on it and just clean the face of that rock off when I moved that one rock All right now there's another rock just beyond it and that is going to just pry right out of there and I'm sure this little channel is going to continue on down it's uh, a lot of yellow clay, gray clay, and uh, rounded river rocks. That's the key right there. If you're doing a crack and you start finding the rounded river rocks down in the crack, you know that the gold has dropped down there too. In any case, that's the spot that I was digging and I ended up with downright decent gold. And so that's where we're going again today. And Instead of one bucket, I think I might fill up two or three. Well, there's my three half buckets of material that I got out of that hole. And uh, it cleaned out pretty well. The only thing I haven't done is wash it down yet. And I brought a gallon of water down to do that. I'll probably do that tomorrow or the next day. And we will see what we get out of this. I brushed everything down on the, uh, on the bedrock. So it's looking pretty good down there. And Snooze had his buckets of material in my truck. And that's what Snooze got out of his hole thus far. All right. And there's five buckets of material that uh, he has to run from yesterday's digging in the first big hole that we. Uh, we saw at the beginning of the video. All right. Yeah. Hey, Snooze, why don't you uh, go ahead and. Yeah. 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 Hey, Snooze, why don't you go ahead and fire that up so we can see, watch you uh, process a little material here. We'll, we'll see the entire operation and take it from there. All right. Let me get around behind you here a little bit. There we go. All right. This when this material. Full of material, I dump it. Yep. And then name I don't of the have game. to clean out the trough. Yeah, that's the name of the game. All right. And that gets rid of 99% of your vegetable matter, also your roots and leaves and nasties. All right. And you can see he's got a good flow going here. How big is the pump in there? It's one of them little, uh... It's a bilge pump, right? Bilge pump from the boat. Okay, so it's like a thousand gallons per hour or something like that? 1,200? Okay. All right. But you can see that's running this uh, Keen A52 very nicely. Running down in there. Okay. Well, we'll be interested to see what Snooze gets by way of gold. There's Wayne. Wayne is supervising today. He came down, but uh, oh, only hung around and uh, and looked at cracks. He didn't didn't throw anything in a bucket. So I guess he'll be back here tomorrow to uh, to get the gold that he scouted out today. You were tired today. Okay. <laughs> well, that's because you had to be a plumber this morning. That's it. All right. Okay, so basically, uh, Snooze will clean up this A52, take the cons, and run them through 
the desert fox over here. All right, and uh, there's not that many cons to deal with, so it uh, goes pretty quick on the desert fox. And at the end, the gold falls right in that little teeny cup, right at, hanging at the back of the unit. All right. The cup gets full of gold and quit. Uh, yeah, when the cup is completely full, then it's time to stop and have a beer. All right. Okay. You can see Snooze's punch plate here, and looks very good. Kind of a nice operation going here, Snooze. Well, I'm back down at the house uh, with my three buckets of material. Went ahead and ran that through a uh, my triple little buddy sluice, and uh, now I've taken the concentrates from that and put it into my bucket sluice concentrator. This is a product from California Sluice Box. I've done a couple of videos on them, and they really work like a charm. All right. And with the concentrates in here now, it's going to be a little difficult because we don't have a lot of light here. It's looking pretty dark in there. I was hoping you could see the gold that's sitting in the first two, uh, two riffles, but uh, I don't think I've got enough light here. Oh well, minor details. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to clean that up and uh, pan that out, and we'll see exactly how much gold I did get out of those three half buckets. All right, well, just finished panning out the minus 20s, and let's take a look at this gold. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yes, indeedy. All right, I got to remember that's three half buckets of material, so we got some nice gold going on in there. I'm going to see if I can put the magnifier on here and get a little closer look. I'm going to have to dump this pan out first. Okay, let's go back to magnifier here and see what we see. Focus here. Yeah. It's getting a little difficult with the magnifier, but you can see the nice, 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 nice gold there. Alright, well, so much for minus 20s. Let's do the plus 20s and see if we got some chunkers in there. Here's a shot of the uh, minus 20 gold from those three buckets. And a nice pan of gold it is. Let's get the magnifier on here. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on those a little bit. You can see how chunky they are. And that's some decent gold for three buckets. Not bad. We're going to have to go down and visit Snooze again. Alrighty, well, I'm uh, back at the house after pulling a uh, half bucket of classified material out of the creek there with snooze. And uh, I just got a chance to run it this afternoon. And let's take a quick look and see what we got. Again, this is a half a three gallon bucket of classified material. And look at that. There we go back up a little bit so you can see and now I'm gonna put the magnifier on we'll go around see if we can zero in on this gold here a little bit there we go that's a pretty reasonable amount of gold for like I say a half bucket I'll be going back down and see snooze again and we'll get back in and hit the rocks in the creek and see what else we can get well, Wayne and I are back down here with Snooze, scratching on the bedrock. And we're going to come over and watch Wayne clean a crack out here a little bit. There we go. And he's working 
with one of my little homemade scratcher devices and he's getting a nice clean clean run on this bedrock all right getting some gray clay getting some rounded river rock down in there and that's what it's all about as far as cleaning out cracks all right i can hear snooze working on downstream here so we'll get on and check out on snooze and see what he's doing okay we're gonna watch snooze in action here for a minute let me know if you need a hand moving a rock let's see what snooze has been doing all right come over here and he's, not always round rock. he's got a lot of rounded rocks down in this little it's a uh crack that was horizontal to the uh, stream flow so that might have some nice stuff you get a lot of rounded river rock out of there yeah excellent all right well, that could be a, a little honey hole for you i noticed that you cleaned this crack all the way back down to there and uh how much you got? You got about a half a five gallon bucket worth of stuff thus far, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, getting close. All right, you already put one in the truck? Mm -hmm. Dang, you are moving some dirt today. All right, well, that's what it's all about. The more places you find that have excellent prospects, that's what we want to get into. Yeah, we could use a backhoe. That is exactly right. I would love to be able to get one down here and not get yelled at by people. All right. Well, we'll see how Snooze does on his stuff. Yeah, Snooze is, uh, Snooze is working on a nice one down there, so hopefully he'll get some nice gold out of that. Is that thing going down any deeper? Uh, I'm to the bottom. I'm trying Run not to, to fall here. Okay. Well, look at Look at the job you did. You got that little sucker cleaned right on down here. And think about the uh, the gold here. It doesn't matter whether a crack is uh, transverse to the stream flow or goes with the stream flow. Uh, we're getting gold out of all of them. Yeah, always have. Yeah. Much, huh? That's the name of the game. Hey, you're getting some nice material there. Okay. You notice... Uh, Wayne is utilizing one of our favorite cracking and crevicing tools, and that is a nice teaspoon. All right, you get the long handle, and uh, you can get down farther in the cracks and bring out that tiny bit of material that a lot of people would pass up on, and that's usually the material that contains the most gold. All right, well, what we have is uh, snooze and his gold thus far we're going to cruise right in here and see if we can get a shot of this gold look at that in there that's pretty 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 all right i'm getting a little close so i'm going to pull out the magnifier and we'll come in close on the gold all right look at that pretty gold yep not bad, Snooze. And more coming up because you were in a really nice pocket there. So I'm hoping yep. you really get some decent stuff out of that. All right, well, uh, we got back to the house here, and Wayne just panned out. He only had a third of a, uh, of a little half bucket of material uh, classified. And look at the gold he got. There it is right there. Let me get the old magnifier out and we'll zoom in on that nice chunky stuff. There's Wayne Gold. Yes indeed. Looking very, very good. Alright, excellent Wayne.